All right, so we're going to be um, touching one on a uh, song from Big Whiskey and the Groove Rex King, which is Shake Me Like a Monkey. It's the second track uh, on the album after uh, Leroy's intro for Grux. And um, this song's in drop D. It's pretty, pretty simple, uh, kind of intermediate stuff. When we get into the bridge, we'll... Um, I'll talk about some timing uh, issues with that song. It's, it's or with that part of the song. It's kind of weird, um, but uh, anyways. So this song is in drop D, and so you're going to be tuning this low E string to a D. And uh, if you're not familiar with with drop D tuning, the best way to do it if you don't have a tuner is uh, the standard way that you would tune your guitar up here. The way you're doing that, the only thing you're gonna change is instead of doing that E string up here on the fifth fret, tune it up here on the seventh fret. All right, and dropping it, you're gonna be dropping it to uh, from an E down to a D. Um, and I have a tuner on my guitar. If you have one on your guitar, or if you have one that you can throw up here, um, you know, just just wait until it tunes down to a D, and you'll have it. So pretty straightforward. So anyways, we get into the song, uh, the intro, and this also goes for the chorus as well. Um, the intro we're gonna hit, uh, the, I'm gonna call this, even though this is a drop D, I'm still gonna call it the low E string. So we're gonna hit on the fifth fret on the E. We're gonna take our four finger and slide uh, from on the D from the third to the fifth. Just that. We do that same thing, but this time we're gonna come down to the third fret E string. Okay, so we're going fifth on the first time. Now, um, what I always do is I keep, when I'm sliding up, I keep my uh, middle finger across all the other strings to mute them, to give it that good sound, so we'll go. So that way, you're only hearing uh, that D string. All right, and then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna flatten out the E, the A, and the D strings. And I'm gonna go E, A, D, just with my four finger, just flattening out those three. Um, and then you're gonna do the same thing up here to the third fret. But I strum those. I go E, A, D. And then we'll go. What I'm doing right there, so we're going uh, on the E string, we're going three, five, and then drop down to the A string, three, back to the E, five, three. And then uh, again, the chorus is just going back. All right. So that's chorus, intro and chorus right there. And then uh, when we're getting into the verse, the thing I like about you is the way you, when he gets into that, he's just going. doing right there is we're starting open on that E and hammering on to that third so we'll go so pluck it uh, the string pick it down when you're hammering and then you'll go up and then down We're just taking our pinky up there to the fifth fret E string. Okay, and then for that last note there, you're gonna come down here. And all I'm doing right there is we're on the A and the D on the third and fifth, sliding from there to the first and the third. Now, I tabbed this song, um, this version from uh, 
from Dave and Tim uh, live in Las Vegas from a few years back. And um, so I'm going off of everything that he played in that version. I haven't seen any good tablature for the song or uh, really watched many videos of him playing with the band. Because with him and Tim, it, there always tends to be a camera either on Tim Reynolds or Dave Matthews. And so it makes it easier to find it than when they're playing with the band and people are panning from Boyd to Carter to Stefan, uh, Jeff Coffin. It's going all over the place and I can't pick up a lot of the things mm -hmm. that he's playing. Um, so there could be some, uh, this is one of the only songs that I'll probably ever do that it might differentiate what we're learning here from what they play with the band. But typically what he plays with Tim is what he plays with the band. So um, with that being said, when we get into this bridge, it's the one part that I'm a, um, like I said, the timing's, the timing's pretty strange. I played along with the studio version of it to, to get the right sound with it. If you watch that live in Las Vegas with Dave and Tim, uh, you'll get an idea of when he's switching, because um, I've told y'all before in these videos, I'm, I'm good with all these chords, I'm just not very good at explaining the timing of it. So um, anyways, we'll jump into uh, the chorus, which is going to be a C shape. We're going to move up to the third, uh, fifth, fourth, and the third frets. All right, and then we're going to jump up here to uh, the A and the D string on the second and the fourth frets. We're gonna slide up to the third and the fifth. Okay, now on this first time around, and the the first time we go through this, and then the third time we go through this is this is what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna take um, we'll take our um, we're gonna come up here and flatten out on the seventh fret E A D, and then we'll come back to this for to go. Through the uh, through this uh, bridge the second time, and then this time we'll still do this, but instead of sliding up to here, we're gonna go from here to here. We're gonna take that four finger off, so your only thing that's gonna be on is that pinky on the D string on the fifth fret, and then you're gonna come back, leave that pinky on the D string. We're gonna we're gonna go two three on the A string, okay? And I'll go through this again at the end, uh, just to make sure we're on the same page, because this is just a really kind of a strange part of this uh, song. And then we come back to that again, and that's what I was talking about. We go back and do it the same way we did it the first time, okay? So it's gonna go like this. And then back to that again, okay? So that's going through twice. He does that, each one of those, one more time. And then um, the very final time that we go through this, he's gonna go here. And we'll do it, do it this way. And then he ends putting uh, that ring finger right there on the, uh, the A string fifth fret, okay? So I'll go through all of that to hopefully make this make a little more sense to you, okay? So then we're going that, and that was just going straight back into the chorus. Or I'm sorry, into the verse. Um, so the verse is gonna be that. Again, the chorus and the intro are the same. And then that bridge is just, uh, like I said, if you watch that video, you can really get an idea of when he's switching chords. I played it, I played it, I think, fairly close to what it was. And um, I think that's pretty much it uh, for Shake Me Like a Monkey. Um, yeah, any, any more questions or comments, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching.